Hello, this is Mickey Deming from Kahuna Accounting. I'm here with our latest installment of Accounting Clarity for Entrepreneurs, the series that we're doing to help entrepreneurs understand a little bit more about their accounting, about their numbers, and how to find what they're looking for. Today, I got a lot of help from Ryan Altman, one of our accountants here on staff, and we are going to walk through how to uh, use pre-printed checks in Zero and how that helps you have a better handle on your cash flow. So uh, when you're cutting checks in Zero, um, Zero has the ability, uh, with, rather than you uh, writing checks out of your own checkbook, you can write checks out of Zero, and that what that does is give you a better sense of the the cash that is about to come out of your business. We'll show you that a little bit more uh, later. But the the main point here is if you are using external methods for purchases. So uh, a lot of people, if you use credit cards for expenses. That works great because as soon as cash is to credit card, Zero knows it. But when you're writing checks, that can cause some challenges because you write that check and your bank balance is going to show how much money that you have. But in reality, you don't have that much money because this check is eventually going to be cash and it's going to come out. And if you're not tracking it in Zero, you have no way of knowing how much is going to come out. And so when you use the Zero pre-printed checks, you're always having that knowledge of uh, how much money you currently have, but also how much you're going to have when the uh, checks all settle. So the way that shows up is a lot of times you will see this difference when you're inside zero. You'll see your balance in zero, and then you'll see your statement balance, and those things are, t are different. And a lot of times we get that question, why are these two things different? So the statement balance is the cash that is currently sitting in the physical bank account. That's how much cash you have. But the balance in zero uh, is the balance, but then it also factors in outstanding deposits, outstanding payments, and unreconciled items. So if those are different, there it could be that things aren't reconciled. It could be that there are uh, deposits and payments that are uh, outstanding that are that are going to be um, settled, which will impact uh, the statement. If you ever see it's different and you want to find out why, uh, you can run a reconciliation report. So you just click on manage and then go down to uh, reconciliation report and then you can drill into what is causing the difference. And so if we do that, then we go to this bank reconciliation summary. And in this example, you will see that the amount is uh, different. The balance of zero is different than the statement balance. And then you see why. The reason why is because we have these outstanding payments. There's three different checks that we have created that have not yet been cashed. And so the balance in zero is less because we know that's coming. And so that gives us a more accurate uh, understanding uh, of where our cash flow stands. And then you can drill in even further and find out why uh, or make sure that those checks are true. And so you go into accounts and click on checks in the dropdown. And then when you get there, you can see right there that there are three that are uncleared. So there are checks that are out in the world that are uncleared, uh, and then they will be. So we'll see that that's exactly where that balance uh, mismatch comes in. So if we want to start doing that, let's create a check. This is what they would look like. And a little example here, Zero has the ability to cut checks. Um, you can just uh, come up with a pre-printed check stock from any office supply store online or otherwise. And when you've done that, you can configure zero to print out checks and then write those checks uh, that work just like any other check, but you now have the knowledge of it in your accounting system. So let's do it. If you go to settings, general settings, then you see at the bottom in the drop down, you can find check styles, which is how you can configure your check. Once you've done that, the key here is going to be finding the right alignment. You uh, see under options, you can find alignment, and then you use arrows to uh, match up the alignment of the check with the paper in your printer. Sometimes that takes uh, a few different attempts. It doesn't always work perfectly, um, but just try it until it works. Once you have it, and once you uh, have this configured and this alignment down, then boom, it's just every time you, you wanna write a check, you can print out of zero, and it's gonna work perfectly. So make sure you set the alignment and click save so you have those settings uh, maintained. So once you're doing that and you're starting to uh, write expenses out of your uh, pre-printed checks in zero, 
uh, it's a huge advantage for you as a business. And, and one big thing that you're avoiding uh, is sometimes you can even see this balance in zero would go into negative. And so if that were to happen, um, you would have um, an, an issue on your hands, but you'd at least know that rather than um, you know overdrawing because you aren't tracking this. So if the balance in zero is negative, then you know at any point in time those checks can be cashed and you won't have enough money to cover them. And so that means you need to either collect on AR, you need to um, you know get some capital into the business, whatever you need to do. But if you are not tracking uh, your checks, then you th that can sneak up on you. And you might think you have more money than you actually have because we all do that. Um, even in our personal lives, you know, you write a check and you, you forget about it and you think you have a certain amount of money, but then all of a sudden, boom, the check gets cashed and it's a big kind of wake up call. So use zero to pre-printed checks to avoid that. So appreciate you joining us today. Hopefully that helps out. If you are uh, writing a lot of checks, I think it will. Um, let me know your feedback. We love doing these uh, and hearing what questions people have and how we can make the accounting world a little bit simpler. So reach out to me anytime you'd like. My email is mickey at kahunaworld.com. And if you are new to Kahuna and you uh, want to be in a cool accounting system like Zero and have a handle on your financials, we will be happy to help. So you can check us out and all that we're up to and all the other videos that we have at kahunaaccounting.com. Thanks a lot.